Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Pepe Coins price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every single Pepe video, I need to tell you that in the long term, just in terms of TA, I'm going to be extremely bullish because I think we are having five up into a wave one and then a correction for wave two and followed by that maybe to about this high we are going to have the end of our wave three and as you can see our wave three is in form of a one two three four five wave impulsive structure and according to this scenario we may have in this area just a correction into wave four and after our move down is over we may get another big move on the upside into wave five in our attempt to set an all-time high and take the highest side in this area for the first side yet and i think we may actually not stop there now of course we can also have other bullish possibility and maybe in one scenario i'm gonna be able to say that this is going to be just a very strong extension structure meaning this is five up into one correction for wave two and then we're gonna have a huge move up into wave three four five this is also a possibility but for now maybe it's best to go with the previous scenario that suggests that we are having possibly the end of our wave three to somewhere around this side now let's go on h4 time frame there we go so here is the situation i think this move down region here is going to be in form of a correction and to somewhere around this point we can have different patterns but i think a likely scenario is going to be a wxy potentially in form of a double zigzag and here is our first a b c down into wave w correction for x probably if i just take this one okay a flat and a zigzag structure and then we are having our second a b c zigzag to somewhere around this point and this means at least according to this scenario there's a decent chance that the bottom is set now what happened since we talked about pepe in the previous video if you remember the last time that we made a video i believe we were somewhere around these areas and i was saying well, okay if you want to be bullish in pepe you need to say this is from the lowest low five up into a wave one and then a correction for wave two and we may have an extension structure into wave three meaning chances are that this is going to be also another one or two but on a lower degree relative to this one or two in here and the idea was that according to the bullish scenario in pepe we need to get a solid move on the upside into wave three four five and at that point we are going to say that this white five up it's going to be into on a higher degree this wave three right in here and we're going to get a correction for four another move up into wave five so what happened as you can see we actually got a solid move on the upside and in my opinion this is amazing for pepe why because number one in terms of elliot waves now we can say it with a bit more confidence that maybe the trend has changed and number two in terms of classic technical analysis meaning support and resistances we talked about this area many many times and we said look we just do not need to see pepe get a break of this very important support and if you remember i said this is from weekly time frame and if you want to say that this area is broken you need to go on weekly chart and see a candle close under this region and followed by that a pullback and thereafter a continuation of the move down and if i just go on weekly time frame and maybe zoom in a bit more in here there we go as you can see okay we are having a candle closing here but in this area we absolutely 100 failed to have a pullback and then a continuation of the move down so what does this mean basically it means that this move down under this very important support area was just a very simple fake out and this support is officially not broken yet and the fact that in here we got a solid bounce back off of it in my opinion again it's going to be another amazing sign for pepe so right now i am actually going to be quite bullish now in terms of the trends in a downtrend basically we are going to have a series of lower highs and lower lows and if we get a move up in an attempt to take the last side at that point we can argue that maybe the trend has changed and in pepe if i just go on maybe h1 time frame there we go let's actually go on a less busy chart maybe from kraken there we go so here is the deal these are in my opinion a series of lower highs and low lows right in here and if we see this move up continue a bit more and in that move we take the previous high right around this area 
at that point we can say that pepe there is like a very high chance that it's actually going to be bullish now and most probably we are at least going to set another all-time high and take the high side in this area which from the current point that's going to be about a 70 80 percent move on the upside which is amazing so in terms of the trends in my opinion we are very very close to break our downtrend but maybe not yet now what is happening in terms of indicators let's go on weekly time frame zoom on a bit more in here there we go let's actually go on our own chart i think it was in crypto.com okay so what do we have as you can see unfortunately a sell signal in macd which is in my opinion a bearish sign but in a stochastic or side, pay attention to the fact that first we are somewhere around the oversold region and this means maybe soon the sellers are going to get exhausted and as a result of it bulls might actually take charge and we may get a solid move on the upside and second in here we are actually having a buy signal but here's a very important point this buy signal is not confirmed yet we need to wait until the end of the week and at that point if we are still going to have this thing it is going to be in my opinion an amazing sign in Pepe's price chart especially when you combine it with the fact that we are getting a solid bounce back from this very very important weekly and i believe daily time frame support at the same time now in daily time frame what is going on okay we are having a buy signal in macd which is fantastic however this is a sell signal in a stock so, so what's the plan in here you see in like very short time i think there is definitely a chance that we may get a move on the downside in pepe's price chart but chances are that move might be just a very simple correction and structure into this way for for example maybe it's going to be in form of an a b c d e a triangle and thereafter it we can expect another continuation of the move up into wave five and then again we need to get some more corrections in here and followed by that yet another move on the upside to be really really bullish but for now in my opinion in pepe we are definitely on the bullish track so let's have our final conclusion and wrap our video in Pepe, right now, like we said earlier, we are absolutely bullish. But if you want to be a still bearish in Pepe and say most probably we are going to continue this move on the downside, well, okay. What you need to see is a solid move on the downside from the current point in an attempt to take these loss. If we do something like this, and especially at the same time, if we manage to get a solid break of this very important support area and then pull back and a continuation of the move down, that's actually going to be a very important bearish sign that suggests our move down is not over yet. And in that case, the next target is actually going to be all the way down here around the next important support area. But for now, since we are having, in terms of Elliott waves, a solid extension structure and also in terms of classic technical analysis a solid bounce back off of this very very important support area in my opinion we are definitely allowed to be more bullish than bearish on pepe's pressure so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in pepe anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto you want to learn some solid TA or in maybe order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye